Hi, this is Sarah McClellan with Pixels and Pills. We're here at the e Pharma Summit in New York City. I'm standing with Mr. Thomas Getz from Wired Magazine. He spoke this morning and, uh, you know, you touched on a lot of different things, but first let's get a little bit about your background and why you're speaking here at the e Pharma Summit. Sure, sure. So I am an editor. I'm executive editor at Wired Magazine in San Francisco. And so one of the things we try to do at Wired is... Um, pay attention to trends that are kind of coming from the technology world but but really uh, breaking over into people's daily lives like how technology changes their daily life and personally I have a strong interest in health medicine um, so so that is a really fascinating area for for where technology impacts lives at, at a very kind of oftentimes fraught uh, you know delicate moments when people need to make very serious decisions. Mm -hmm. So so that is what I was trying to talk about today is how do you help people make those decisions and use the best available information to kind of make better decisions and it's it's not easy. One of your points was all about IWF or information <laughs> with feeling. Um, there's some noise over there. The I think someone's machine. yes, espresso and smoothies. If anyone would like some, but uh, back to IWF. Can you right. tell us a bit more about that? So yeah, so IWF is the is the highly scientific um, an ac or acronym for information with feeling, okay. uh, and what that is is just this notion that. Um, Information is great, and, and you know, there's no end of information in healthcare. But unless it has feeling, unless there's some kind of emotional component along that goes along with it, it doesn't really break through. It's, it's hard to get people to kind of wake up, you know, break out of the, the kind of course of their daily lives and, and change what they do. And that's what the kind of potential of, of IWF or, or information with feeling is. It resonates more. It hits home and it gets people to think, wow, I, I can actually do something with this information. And that's a very different level on which, on which um, to use kind of uh, healthcare information and data. As someone who's not really in the pharma industry, myself, as a general consumer, you know, I'm an iPhone user, I have a lot of apps, and uh, you spoke about apps that are connecting people directly with managing their health and well-being. What are some of the, you know, uh, apps that are out there leading in the market at the moment for this particular uh, genre? Right, with, well, so, so, uh, so there are, I think maybe, 50 to 100,000 apps that have some health component. I mean, it's it's amazing. Health is a huge category in the iTunes App Store, uh, and a lot of them are are quite creative in using some of the uh, components of the iPhone in terms of the sensors, the the uh, the motion sensor that helps people sleep better. So you can actually do you can create a sleep lab at home now. Um, they're they're you basically just you put the iPhone on your bed. Um, under your pillow and it can detect when you roll over oh, and that corresponds to how well you're sleeping okay. so so that's a great app and there's another app that um, helps people lose weight uh, it's called lose it and and it kind of tracks you helps you track your weight in a very it's a very kind of um, putting into effect some of these these techniques that people have known for a long time but it's easier to do uh, there's another app that I love um, it's a, a blood pressure <coughs> excuse me a blood pressure monitor but it uses the light sensor on the camera. So you put your hand over the, over the um, light sensor on the uh, back of the iPhone, and it can detect, it can read the uh, blood going through your no. skin. It really works. And uh, so those, that type of creativity is, is the stuff that really, I think, is, is uh, representative of this shift that we're making towards gathering data, gathering personal information, and being able to act on it in real time. It's a feedback loop, and it's really powerful. It's so exciting that all of these things are, are just sort of accelerating and the innovation is happening so quickly. Um, I know that we've done a little bit of uh, background stuff on your book and you mentioned that it's coming out now in paperback. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit more about that and where people can get it? Sure. Well, it's it's available all over the place on, on yeah. Amazon, uh, most prominently probably. And and the book is uh, it's also updated. I updated the paperback version so it uh, actually has uh, some specific kind of techniques for engagement um, that individuals can do. But the, the book, again, is about uh, the challenge of, of making good decisions and, and how, how do we actually get people to 
to take control of their health and, and think of their health in positive terms rather than negative terms. And that, that goes back to this IWF idea. When we, when we start to think about our health as something that, that um, we, we are confident in, that we have a role in, right. rather than something that causes fear and anxiety, right. it's a completely different kind of uh, way of engaging with health. And, and it's something that, thankfully, and I'm very, I'm very hopeful that more and more tools and opportunities for people are going to come up that, that kind of paints out that path. So it's not just the book, it's, it's out there everywhere. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much, Thomas, for speaking Thank with you. us today. Excellent. This is Sarah McClellan with Pixels and Pills.